Okay, live at the Vortex, I've got Dalit here with me, and he's going to talk a little bit about an introduction to the DNA of the universe, which is the Tree of Life. Is that right, Dalit? That's the way I see it, yep. It's uh, proved itself to me over and over again. <laughs> so the reason I wanted to talk with Dalith is we've had a lot of interest in people asking about without and getting lost the minute I try to get started. People it's, looking at this? It's exactly my experience as well. It's um, It was like climbing a mountain and one day you see the view. <laughs> but uh, I, would, I had a lot of help and that makes a big difference. So... Give me, a, give me a little idea of what the Kabbalah, and that's how you pronounce it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I've always pronounced it what is apparently the wrong way, Kabbalah. I, yes. So, yeah. so how, how do you even get that name Kabbalah versus the what more typically people are pronouncing it? Well, the most Hebrew words that are accented on the final s syllable, um, but uh, most English words are not. Um, so um, uh, it's just a variation in pronunciation but uh, uh, the Taoists say the way that can be named is not the constant way and I rather think the same thing about Kabbalah it's either Kabbalah or Kabbalah or anything you want <laughs> Okay, and so what was, what was your first connection with the Kabbalah? I was reading a book um, and I can't even remember the subject now but it happened to mention it and I thought well, that sounds interesting and strange I'd better have a look into it and see so um, uh, I started studying it, and I realised that if I was going to, I was going to have to take it very seriously. Um, I did that. And one day I was looking at the diagram of the Tree of Life, and I suddenly saw something that I already knew to be true mapped out on it. Like, what is that you see it in the Tree of Life? Well, I've, I've had a... Uh, an argument with a lot of people over a lot of years, mostly by shouting at books, um, over uh, with our awareness. And that you see the two things confused all the time. And I knew it was right. I knew it was different to that. And they were two entirely separate capacities. But I'd never... And you've set some examples of what that, what that means to you. The funniest one uh, was when... Uh, I mean, I've always been right into my left hemisphere. I want to pull things to pieces and understand them by pulling them to pieces. And um, I saw on the tree of life that your right hemisphere is actually... say, yeah, that's the way it works. Your feelings guide you all the time, but we don't recognise it. We've got this feeling that our left hemisphere is in charge and we carefully decide what we're going to do, when in actual fact our right hemisphere made up its mind an hour ago, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about another example of what, how, what you've seen has changed, has changed you? <sighs> well creative processes, and that's what the tree of life is, uh, helps me to understand everything in all sorts of ways. I, I, I see processes happening around, I see my own, I see what, what other people are doing. I've uh, worked in places where I've thought, it looks like we should have a tree of life here, but they haven't got this capacity. It's awfully hard to do this without a map and a long introduction. But... Um, but when you see that there's an ingredient missing in a creative process, it's very easy to say, right, let's put it in there. Uh, if you've never noticed that it's missing, it's impossible to do anything. <laughs> so um, that turns up all over the place all the time and in places where I've you know, actually worked, I've made suggestions along those lines and improved hmm. the system um, because I knew what was missing. Yeah. That's really interesting. So Dalit is going to be working with us, putting together an online course and a physical course here in the St. Mary's region. And what we'd like to know is, would you like to hear more about this? And would you like to attend either in person or over the Internet? So 
Um, Del, why don't you share with us some other final thoughts on what some of these, how you think the Tree of Life relates to the DNA of the universe? Well, I've seen it in uh, books that described the Big Bang, and they described the series exactly the way it would lay out on the Tree of Life. I've seen uh, uh, a, a mystic from the United States um, describe her process uh, of how she came about uh, her uh, enlightenment, I suppose you would call it. And she described the Tree of Life, and she's never heard of Kabbalah. And um, <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, it, uh, it just it just describes everything that I've seen, wherever anything is actually going on that brings something new into the world. Even if it's as simple as a light switch, there's a tree of life there. Mm. <laughs> so you think if we understood the tree of life better, we would understand... ...things that you deal with in the world. It works. I mean, I've been doing it. I, I stumbled across the tree of life in 1983, and my only regret is that I didn't stumble, stumble across it earlier because um, it's, it's helped me in so many situations. And it's fun, you know? I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a battle to wrap your head around some of the ideas to start off with, because it's such an entirely different approach to the world that a lot of people uh, take. You know, this, the, the difference between the, uh, the, the Semitic languages to start off with and European languages, they think about the world in an entirely different way. And when you see that different way, uh, it, it just opens up a whole new uh, path for you to see what's going on. We're not pulling to pieces anymore. We're seeing a creative process all around us all the time. And you can join into that creative process because you know where you are in it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you'd like to hear more about the Tree of Life and how to understand it, something I'm really looking forward to, to, to getting a handle on, um, say yes in the message below or share it with your friends and that you know would be interested in this. So thanks again. And if you like this type of interview, um, please send, send a comment and we'll hear from you soon.